Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Technic Neo McLaren Extreme E Team. Uh, this is set number 42166. It has 252 pieces and I paid 20 eight dollars for this or 27 dollars for this or something uh and uh i like these technic cars i like uh, mclaren stuff um and i you know i'm excited about the pullback function i thought the price per piece seemed okay all that considered i know that uh, neom isn't you know the most popular company but they are just an official sponsor of the McLaren race team and so uh you know their their uh, name and logo is is on the real car and then that translates to the Lego car so um without trying to get too much into that I I'm just uh, aware of that and uh that's uh, all I'm going to say about it. But uh, either way, in this video, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So until then, enjoy. Okay, so while we are looking at the build for this LEGO Technic Neo McLaren Extreme E-Team set, I wanted to say thanks for watching, and then remind you if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. So this starts off kind of an interesting way. We get some stickers right away. There are a lot of stickers in this set, as you can see. Uh, and like Technic, we kind of build uh, around in a certain order here. We do add the big piece there, that is the pullback uh, uh, kind of engine motor type thing there uh, with the pullback functionality so that makes up a substantial part of the weight and also allows for the function we've sort of finished up the basic chassis here and I was a little bit surprised I didn't know the scale or the overall kind of shape what this was going to be I mean I had a slightly I have an idea because of the box and whatever else but uh, I didn't really know um, but it's very formless right now and then we add this kind of back uh, roof area starts adding a little bit of the overall shape and there's a lot of smaller kind of uh, sub assembly type things here which go on and then actually going through all the different side panels everywhere it's actually pretty densely built and really satisfying how everything comes together so I did like this portion a good amount also it used some flower studs and some things to get the other panels panels kind of angled correctly which I appreciated uh, and eventually at this at some point in here I did make uh, an error and uh, I had to correct that so I think uh, right about here I'm going to have to correct some stuff um, and that wasn't too bad I didn't have to go backwards too too far but Technic is a, a little bit uh, specific like that and I made another error there uh, but now we're getting the front axle on uh, adding some stuff to the front kind of bumper area and the hood uh, and then we add the front fenders and uh, just a couple more uh, pieces here and then we will add the tires and we'll be done so uh, this was kind of an interesting build and I talk more about it at length so uh, now on to my review for this set Okay, so this is the Lego Technic Neom McLaren Extreme E race car set. Uh, this is really great. Um, it's not too far off uh, piecewise from the off-road race buggy, which was non-licensed, but uh, this one was you know seven dollars more expensive. But it does have the branding and the licensing, and it also has the pullback functionality so like some other like the monster jam uh technic trucks and i don't know uh, what else this does have pullback functionality so it has that big piece in there that when you uh pull back the tires it builds up like tension in there and then when you let it go it releases and propels the vehicle forward so it does have that so that's um an expensive piece and uh uh 
nice to see here. I thought the build for this was really, really interesting, actually. It's been a while since I built a Technic thing with a pullback, so I had to remember uh, all of that kind of stuff. It came back pretty uh, quickly, but in this area, kind of where like the door would be or this sign panel, there's a lot of like really tightly fit together things uh, with interesting angles and it's really satisfying how it all comes together. Uh, I'll point out one thing underneath here. I don't know if I've ever really seen flower studs in a Technic set, but they're used here and then using the pin with like the ball or mixel joint at the uh, side to make sure that this whole panel piece with the uh, Neom logo go there is kind of sitting at the right angle um, and I think that's a really smart really cool uh, idea and it, it kind of uh, surprised me to see that there but as far as like you know these panels here this panel here 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 and how all that integrates with um, the main kind of body of the vehicle I thought was uh, pretty impressive and pretty fun I did have a couple moments where I actually mixed something up uh, right to left in here and I had to take it apart a little bit but it uh, wasn't too too bad before I noticed so that's good and um, I thought that was uh, kind of the most impressive part of the build was kind of fitting all this together actually the front end of this came together way quicker than I thought it would it's not there's just not very much there so if you look at the side you can kind of see right through here um, so there's not a ton up at the front here but uh, it still looks pretty good from a lot of angles we don't have any seats in this one so that's interesting um, but we do have kind of like a roll cage windshield window type things using these flexible pieces uh, these pieces which sometimes are used for chairs but also or like you know seats in a vehicle um, in Technic these are also used for different panels and they're also used here kind of as like a fender type thing looking at the uh, back we have some different uh, stickers here so I'll kind of go through all the stickers sticker sheets right here a lot of stickers in this set so big one on this panel small one on this beam smaller one on this beam um, and then the neon there on that beam going to the top this is one big sticker here Looking at the side, sticker here, sticker here, sticker here. This is one, this is one, and this is one. And then looking at the front here, this is a sticker, two stickers here, one, two, three stickers there, one there. Other side is pretty much the same. So what does that bring us to? 24 stickers in total. Um, most of them, I didn't actually have a problem putting it on on you know I don't love uh, sometimes I find putting a sticker on a beam is a, a little bit tricky to get it like centered but putting beams or stickers on these panels rather uh, I actually don't mind I've gotten kind of used to it the more I've built different uh, Technic sets um, you know this one where the it has kind of this extreme e live or whatever uh, these this kind of uh, at thing here uh, you know that like breaks up a a username or something or a just a I don't know an at uh, um, in in two and you know I don't love when they do that with stickers where you have to try to place them close enough to each other so it makes sense but this one didn't feel too bad uh, and so I kind of like this you know the Neom logo is on here pretty many times it's pretty highlighted and it's in the just the sets name so again that's uh kind of a, a a thing here but there's a bunch of other brands google and uh, uh continental and dell and tons of different stuff um all over this which uh feels authentic to the vehicle there's no steering for this uh i think i don't know if i've ever seen any pullback that has like really any steering or anything like that so the front axle is just fixed and the wheels are connected back axle same deal there and uh that's not too big of an issue overall the size here is kind of about similar to that uh, 
other Technic set here. Uh, so this is the off-road um, race buggy set. And, uh, you know, size-wise, as far as the footprint goes, they're not too far off. Certainly the uh, Extreme E race car has more bulk and the uh, off-road buggy kind of has just a different body style and everything, kind of has more rake and just is a, is a completely different kind of vehicle. But, uh, you know, as far as size goes, they're pretty similar. I don't know if these wheels were unique to this uh, Neo um, car. It does have like a pretty deep tread and a pretty wide tread there. So that looks uh, very cool. And overall, I think this is a pretty nice, interesting build, not terribly difficult. Uh, a lot of stickers, but uh, like I say, I guess I don't mind that as much. Um, and it feels pretty good, uh, you know, to play with, and it feels very solid as well, which is, is very nice. And then, you know, comparing this to the reference photos that are in the instruction, uh, manual, I think they did a, they did a really good job capturing the sort of shape and overall style of this vehicle. Uh, so that's, uh, really, really nice. You know, as far as any other building techniques, I kind of liked how this stuff up at the front here was done to get this kind of layered stuff here. They used some um, like bar elements in there and some nice techniques uh, and then everything packed in here. I really enjoyed as well. Uh, the rest of it is kind of you, you it is what it looks like, uh, you know, uh, pretty standard technic uh, construction for for a lot of it. But there's a couple things that I thought were uh, pretty cool, pretty inspired and uh, uh, nice. And overall, like this angle is very good here uh, for the back roof. This angle's all right. Uh, this is nice. And, and all the kind of stuff on the side, I think, is very well realized. So very nice. I'll show the extra pieces here because we do get some and it's all of like your pins, your one by ones, your kind of like bushing kind of things, that flower stud, the uh, translucent tile, which is on the front here. So those are all your extra pieces. Good to get those, not too, too many of them. And this set is 252 pieces and it retails for $27. I paid $27 for this set. Um, yeah, I paid $20 for the other off-road race buggy, and that's uh, not licensed in the same way. So there are some probably contractual things in how uh, things are supposed to be priced. So as far as the price per piece, you know, I don't, I think this is a kind of makes sense almost just factoring in whatever Lego paid to, you know, team up with McLaren or what McLaren and Lego both hope to get out of a set like this. Uh, and then, like I mentioned, the pullback feature, that kind of engine pullback device that is in here is a pretty substantial piece. It's heavy, it's a lot of the weight, and there's some functionality built in there that you don't get in every set. And uh, I think it's worthwhile to note that, even though... You know, those were also in the Monster Jam sets, and sometimes those sets could be found on sale. Uh, I think this makes uh, kind of sense at, at what it is. Overall, I think it's it's really good, and, and the price doesn't feel like it's too outrageous to me, even though it's a Technic set, so a lot of pins and a lot of axle pieces and stuff that, uh, you know, are... are a percentage of a single cent to, to produce and Lego makes billions and billions of those. Um, but there's enough other stuff here that it seemed like $27 wasn't too, too bad. If it was $30, you know, I don't, I don't know. I probably still would have picked it up because I was really interested in it. I think $25 is a better price, but, uh, I guess, that's sort of how I always kind of go through these. I think I don't feel like 27 is too over the top. 30 would have been pushing it a little bit, but probably still made sense. And then 25, I would have said, yeah, this is a pretty great deal. So, uh, you know, we're kind of right in the middle there and that's, that's okay. So, uh, that's this set. I, I like it. It was a, it was a fun little build and a nice little toy. So very good.
If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and give it a like. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more LEGO Technic sets, some of the new sets, old sets, all different stuff, uh, but then tons of other like LEGO brick system sets from all different themes, all different shapes, size, price point, piece count, tons of different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming LEGO videos. And if you want to support this channel and support my videos here, you can do that right here on YouTube with memberships supers and thanks all that stuff really helps me a lot so i appreciate it and i still have the patreon it's linked in the video description it's linked on my channel page patreon.com slash so bricks and i'm going to keep trying to foster a community here on youtube and over at the patreon so consider checking those things out it helps me a lot and every little bit helps so thank you thank you thank you and with all that said until next time thanks bye